What's up, friends and family, viewers and subscribers? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to showcase to you how I go about sealing my first set of blueprints. Therefore, some months ago, I have submitted a set of blueprints to the local municipal authority in Jamaica. They have gotten back in touch with me. They have written me a letter stating that based on the size and complexity of the drawings, it is going to need a professional engineering seal. So I'm going to showcase to you how I go about doing that. I'm also going to showcase to you my license, my professional engineering certificate, my certificate of practice. I'm going to showcase that to you. I'm going to show that to you to show you that I've been registered to practice structural engineering and construction engineering. So if you have your billing plan and you want to reach out to me for me to review it structurally, you can do so. My number and email address is in the description. Also, I'm licensed to practice construction engineering as well. So if you have any construction related issue you can reach out to me if you have issues in construction as it related as it relates to quantity as it relates to your concrete mix or your slab reinforcement your footing reinforcement you can reach out to me and i can give you guidance where that is concerned so So here it is folks, as you can look to the top left of your screen, my certificate of registration is displayed. So I'm re-emphasizing that if you want me to review your design or your construction related issues, you can call me, my number is in the description as well as my email address. So for those of you who are interested, information is there. So that's it. So I'm here, I'm, gonna, I'm going to demonstrate to you how I'm sealing this drawing. I sent this drawing to the parish council in Jamaica, they reached back out to me and let me know that the, based on the square footage of the joint and the complexity of the joint, it is going to need an engineering seal. So as I've said to you in a subsequent video that I've gotten my PE license, so I have the authority now to seal joints. So I'm gonna show you how I'm, gonna, I'm going to go about sealing the joint. So this is my first page. So I'm gonna seal at the bottom of the page. So I'm gonna press on the seal, hold on the seal because what I've recognized about the seal, if you just press one time, the imprint doesn't doesn't come out good, and I don't want that. I don't want to send it to the parish council and they send it back to me and tell me that the print is not showing. So this is my first page. So wherever I seal, I sign. So I just see that page, so I'm going to sign it. So this drawing is consists of about 20 pages, so I'm going to show you how I seal the first five or six. So that is the first page. So I'm on the second page now. And by the way, guys, I have to seal all the pages of the drawings. So this is my second page. You got to hold the seal and press for at least three, four, five seconds, five seconds to ensure that it is in print. So wherever I seal, I sign. So this is 
to my second page here. So I have to ensure that the information on the seal is fully imprinted on the drawings. Because I don't want it to send back these drawings to me and tell me that it's not sealed properly. So seal. Alright, so wherever I seal, put my signature. give you one more demonstration and then that is it so that is how I go about sealing my first set of design So I'm on page 8, so I'm going up to 10. And then I can... My final one, although this drawing is consists of 20 pages, I'm just showing you the first 10. So in the event that you have done your building plan, if you are a draws person or architect or architectural technologist and you want an engineer to go over your drawings, to go over your structural drawings, and see the join my number and email address is going to be in the description